Hello everyone! <laughs> Welcome back to the Earth Tones Girl channel. My name is Denise and I don't even know what episode we're up to and it doesn't matter. This is going to be a really short episode because I just I just wanted to come on and share some really really fun things with you all. The response to and I'm just going to jump right in. I'm not even going to do any <laughs> any B-roll to start, none of that. So the response to my last podcast episode was so amazing. You all were so excited at the prospect of a book sock knitting cal that I decided to give it a go. <laughs> Yay! I am so excited. Um, the first ever I Love Books and Sock Knitting Cal is happening. Yay! <laughs> I'm bursting with excitement over this. I really, really am. I am. I've been knitting like crazy. I've been glued to my ear pods. I am constantly listening to books and I just, I want to share all of that with you. Um, the excitement, the, the good, the bad, the, all of the stuff that books can bring out in us. Um, not the bad, but you know what I mean, like the good emotional stuff, the, the excitement, all of that. I really, really want to share all of that with you. So, I love books and sock knitting, 20, sock knitting Cal 24. I will put all of this in the show notes. All of these details I'm going to share will all be in the show notes for you. So don't worry about memorizing any of this. Um, it will be happening starting March 1st. That is next Friday. Today is... 22nd? I think that's back there. <laughs> uh, today is Thursday, February 22nd. The Cal is going to start on March 1st, next Friday, and will run through May 1st. So we're going, it's going to be two months. And I am absolutely open to possibly letting it continue, but I'll get to that in just a minute. So this Cal, I want this to be as simple and fun as possible. This is all about sharing our love of books and sock knitting. Not dissimilar from my Falling Leaves Sock Cal, but that one is a little bit more specific to this to a season. And um, this I want to feel more like we're all just kind of getting together in an extended book group and we all just happen to be knitting socks. <laughs> that is the feel that I want for this. I want it to be cozy and comforting. Um, I want us to reach out to each other with book titles, book suggestions. Um, have you read this? I just finished this and oh my gosh, it rocked my world. Or please don't ever read this because it was absolutely awful, absolutely awful. Uh, I'm working on this sock pattern. I have discovered this new yarn dyer. Um, did you know that this yarn dyer does colorways uh, that are book related? So I want us to really come together and share all of that. And so let me go through the details of the cal. Um, I wrote it all out here. It looks long, but it's really not. So um, basically, details are the goal is to knit socks while consuming books. And I say consuming because that can happen via eyes or ears. Some of us ears. Some of us like to physically read our books, and some of us, such as myself, are completely addicted to audiobooks. Um, I was an avid physical reader for years and years and years. I can't even, I mean, my, most of my reading life. And I feel like once my kids came along, it, for me, it started to feel like a bit of an indulgence. I just didn't feel like I had the time to just sit and f enjoy the flipping pages of a book. And also, honestly, by the end of the day or whenever I found a moment to do that, I just felt exhausted. I, I was just, I would start to read and it became boink, <laughs> just hit myself on the head with the book. I just couldn't stay awake and I, I feel like I wasn't able to focus on physically reading. So hence the very welcomed introduction to audiobooks and I've not looked back. So um yeah, I mean, I've read physical books on occasion. Anyway, I'm straying. So we'll, we'll get to all of that. So consume your books any way you like, physical books or audio. This is a participatory, participatory cal, as I started to say. So the number of books that you're reading and the number of socks 
or consuming and the number of socks that you're knitting does not matter. You don't even have to finish. The cow will run right now for two months. If you get through one book and only one pair of socks, or if you get through five books and half a sock, does not matter. This is just for us to share in an experience together. That is the goal. So absolutely no pressure to finish anything. Um, all genres, all types of books and types of socks are permitted. And I mean, whatever you wanna read, whatever socks you wanna knit and however you want to knit them or, or create your socks, let me say create, if that's crocheted socks, um, it is a knit along and it's knitting socks, but whatever. However you create your socks, it is all welcome. Um, sips are welcome. I, I think, I don't know if I actually coined the phrase, but a sip is a sock in progress, an S-I-P. Those are welcome. Uh, all yarn weights are welcome. So run the gamut, fingering to worsted, whatever weight yarn you want to use, whatever pattern you want to use, colorway, etc. all are welcome. The cowl will be running now, I can't do a physical cowl here on the YouTube channel because it's not designed that way for us to share in that way with pictures in the comments and things. We can share links, but we can't really share pictures. So I have reactivated my Ravelry group. It is active as of now. I've updated, when you go to the Ravelry page, you will see that the home page or the front page has a little letter. It's dated February 19th, 2024. And it is a welcome back to the space. It has been completely reviewed, revised, and redesigned. All of the old categories have been archived. I really wanted a fresh, clean start and place for us to all gather together. You can share your pictures. You can share your books, pictures of your books and your, your knitting, whatever you want to share. You can add links to um, book sites, to patterns to yarn dyers, that is the place where the bulk of this will happen for my YouTube family. So the Ravelry group is up and running. The cow will also take place on Instagram. So if you are in, if you're on Instagram and not so much a lover of Ravelry, you can be there or vice versa, whatever you wanna do. There are now two platforms where I will be hosting this cow. Uh, the official hashtag, which I will add on the screen here for you, as well as in the show notes, is I love books and sock knitting Cal 24. I love books and sock knitting Cal 24. Again, I will put that here on the screen for you, as well as the show notes. It's a little bit long, but it is all encompassing. Um, not required, but it would be fun to match your book title or genre to the colorway or sock design or sock pattern that you are reading slash using. Not required at all. I just think it would be fun to pair them. Um, I have a lot of colorways that relate to books, so I will absolutely be doing that. Again, absolutely not required. If a yarn colorway or sock pattern reminds you of a book, fine. If they have nothing to do with each other and they're just coexisting, that's fine too. Absolutely no pressure. I just thought it would be a fun idea. Um, I will pick two winners at the end of the cal, one from Ravelry, one from Instagram, just as a thank you for participating. Again, this is a participatory cal. I want more of a sense, I want the focus to be on the books, the sock knitting, the sense of community and coming together, not so much on the prizes. Um, I just don't, want that to be a focus. Um, and honestly, I don't necessarily want that pressure of recruiting people to either donate prizes or generating them myself. So I just want this to be comfortable, easy, simple. Um, and that's basically, that is basically, I think I made another note to myself. Oh, I'll get to that in a second. Um, that's basically it. This is about, again, sharing our love of books, sharing our love of sock knitting. Um, and I want everyone to please, in the Ravelry group in particular, again, people can do this also on Instagram, but the Ravelry group has been set up in categories. So you have a general category for the cowl, then there, there's another category for yarn dyers and sock designs, and one for book recommendations. So all three threads 
or topics of conversation, please feel free to jump in. And like I said, add your photos, your links, your recommendations in those categories. Um, and I think that's basically it for the Cal. I will also have it's already been ordered. I've, I've approved the proof, so they are on their way, but there's going to be a new custom charm, a motivation marker that I will have in the shop for the cow. It's really cute, and it's just something to kind of hang on your, um, as a progress keeper, to keep with you on your knitting, um, just so it kind of ties us all together. So that will be coming to the shop. I just got a shipping notification, so they are on their way. Yay! Uh, so as soon as those are available, I'm hoping they get here in the next couple of days so that I can show them to you just before the cal starts. I really would love to be back here for another episode um, next Thursday. Cal starts on Friday, um, and in that episode, it will be more full. I will share, hopefully the charm will be here, and I will also share um, what I've been working on and listening to. So fingers crossed, um, that that gets here in time. Um, so that's that for the Cal. Any questions, of course, please leave them in the, um, comments down below. Uh, you can send me an email, but honestly, I'm sure if you've got the question, somebody else might have it. So it's easier to just leave all the comments in the description or in the comment section right under the video. Um, and share your excitement. Let me know what your plans are. Jump into the Ravelry group and um, have fun chatting with each other there. I, of course, will be there um, checking in, commenting, interacting with all of you, sharing with all of you, um, but it's also a space for you all to share and interact with each other. So, yay. And other news, I am now um, a brand ambassador for Twice sheared sheep. I don't know if you remember a couple of episodes ago, I shared this little beauty. This is the sock ruler right there. Let me see if I can, is this going to focus? Yeah, there it is. This is the sock ruler by Twice Sheared Sheep. And this is also the bracelet one. So let me see if I can, like a slap bracelet. <laughs> so this is what it looks like on I can't really bend my arm for you guys to see, but you know what I mean. Um, so this is how it fits. This is so neat and tidy and fits perfectly into your, into your project bag. So look at that. Oh, I just love this so much. It comes in three colors, this pink, which I love pink. There is a blue and a white as well. They're also twice sheared sheep also has so many wonderful products for knitters, for sock knitters, for knitting in general. Um, for example, these little uh, Notions tins. I absolutely love a tin. So you've got these really, really cute sliding tins and they have beautiful designs on them. They're sheep. There's all kinds of things on these tins. They're also stitch markers and um, row counters. There's lots of different things. And I will share some of those. I'll put up some pictures for you of some of those items. And those, there will be a link to Twice Seared Sheep. My affiliate link will also be in the description box down below. So what does an affiliate link actually mean? It means um, to have an affiliation or to be a brand ambassador, at least in this particular case, means um, that at no cost to you, the purchaser, I earn a very small commission on your purchase. Um, so that is it. I, it's, it's just, I share their products and I really like this company. I like their products. I, I did not take this on lightly. Um, and I really believe that they're not in competition. So they do progress keepers and, and stitch markers. I don't believe that they're in competition with me in any way. It's there's room at the table for everyone and their products are different and really beautiful. And I just want to share all of that with you. Um, including this really beautiful ruler. I use this and think it's fantastic. The, on one side, it has uh, just your general ruler measurements in inches as well as centimeters. It also has sizes for kids women and men on this side. I just think this is a really amazing nifty tool. So 
yeah. So again, the link will be in the affiliate link will be in the show notes for you. There is also a link. If you're on Instagram, there's also a link in my link tree in my bio. So just go on and have fun shopping. And again, no cost to you. It just earns me a very small commission. Um, and I am just really excited to be working with them and uh, hope you all have fun shopping. And I think that that basically covers it for this episode. I really wanted to get the news out about the shop update, about the, the affiliation as well, and even more importantly, about the Cal. That is really why I'm here. I hope that you are as excited about this as I am, bursting with excitement. And you all know when I get excited, it's giggling and <laughs> lots of that. So really, really excited. Share your thoughts and ideas. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments and the Ravelry group is there for you to start sharing and I will see you all again next week. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. So excited that I got this information out to you and let's read and knit socks together. Thanks so much everybody and I will see you all again really soon. Bye everyone. Mwah.